When setting up your 2630, you will need to make sure you have measurements and offsets entered in for your tractor and implement. To get there, you will hit your main menu, GS3, and then letter H on the right, Equipment. You will need to have machine type, machine model, machine name, and connection type filled out as well. But over here on the center, we have change offsets. Letter A is where the receiver sits to relative of the center of the machine. B is inline distance from non-steerable axle to GPS receiver. C is inline distance from non-steerable axle to implement connection point. And then D is the height of receiver. You will need to have these all filled out to optimize your auto track and section control. Once you have them filled out, hit accept. Up at the top you will see a tab that says implement. Implement 1 would be your planter. Same thing, you will need to fill out your implement type, implement model, and implement name. You will then go to your right and hit change offsets. In this case we will be using A and D. A is from the pivot point of your 17 70, 75, 90, or 95 planter to the drop of seed. D is from that same pivot point to your tires or lift assist wheels on a 17, 70, 75, 90, and 95. If you are using a 17, 90, or a 95 planter, you may have letter C entered in as an offset of 7.5 inches if you have a 32 row planter. Once you have them entered in, hit accept. 